All right, so today I'm gonna do a little video here on the eight plug cylinder head mod where you fire both ignition coils at the same time. So then you're getting uh, both of your spark plugs on either side of the cylinder firing at the same time. You're getting much more efficient burn and efficient use of your fuel charge. But anyway, how it's set up factory is it just runs off the passenger side and the driver side is designed to fire on the exhaust stroke. So if we simply reorientate the plugs, then we're gonna go ahead and be able to fire both of those on each respective cylinder's uh, compression stroke. But a little backstory about the vehicle here, um, if you follow my channel, I picked this thing up for $500 on Craigslist. It was just, uh, you know, I've never bought anything in that market level before and I kinda wanted to see what you would get, so I bought this thing, drove it home. I've been doing some of the work on it here and today I just finished up doing um, some upper intake gaskets and valve cover gaskets, but really I spent about $200 on it and it seems like it's a reliable vehicle. You know, I put U-joints, grease the bearings and all, all this stuff to make sure it's good and safe and brakes and all that. But So getting onto the plug mod here, um, I do have it unplugged, which we'll plug it into um, during this video, but I just want to fire it up and show that the vehicle does indeed run without this coil pack. So if you ever got in a situation that coil pack went bad over on your passenger side, which is um, from the factory what controls your uh, compression stroke uh, ignition, then you could actually take this coil pack, move it over there, and then you'd be able to get down the road if you had a coil pack failure or whatever. Um, you can't just rewire this one and use it because it's my understanding that the engine needs about 400 RPM or so um, for this coil pack to be activated. So um, anyway, that is the primary coil pack, but once it sees full RPM, it's firing both of them. So that's why this plug mod works. So um, again, getting down to the point, it's real simple. You just want to swap uh, the one and four plugs and the two and three plugs. So originally, I believe it's one, two, um, the back passenger corner there is three, and this front one here, if we can get a perspective on it, is four. So what you want to go ahead and do is swap one and four and two and three. So now four is in the front and three is in the front. And now you're firing all these uh, uh, spark plugs on your uh, driver's side on the compression stroke as well as on your passenger side. So you're getting dual plug ignition where before you didn't have that. But anyway, I'm going to fire it up and show that it indeed does actually run on just that one coil pack so she's pretty cold right now but should fire up just fine so there you go and i don't have any tack because i have it wired into that uh passenger side coil there as you can see so anyway we see it's not plugged in there and our engine is running we see there there's our connector so anyway i'm gonna shut it down Obviously, we need to get some exhaust work done on this guy. So we're going to shut it down here, come around. We're going to plug this back in, and it's going to run just fine. Um, if you get the plug order wrong, you know you'll be firing with the intake valve open and a bunch of weird stuff, and it'll be backfiring out the intake. So you'll definitely know if you, uh, you mess that much up. But anyway, climbing in here, and it's an absolutely blazing hot day, like 100 degrees. There you go. Now you're firing on two sets of spark plugs per cylinder. So again, you're just gonna get better fuel economy that way you get more efficient burn. And overall, it's just better. A lot of people on the forums will sit there and say, it's gonna lead to detonation, but unless you have a lean problem with your engine, you know, um, your detonation is kinda controlled by your cylinder temps which is controlled by your fuel charge so if you're lean obviously if you have problems elsewhere in the engine um, that lean charge is going to cause uh, hotter cylinder temps but um, anyway this shouldn't damage your engine in any way shape or form so I do a lot of small block Ford stuff I'm a big V8 guy and this is just going to be my little economy daily driver if I even choose to drive it again I just bought it for YouTube to run so anyway she seems to run pretty good of course I got a few things to tidy up here yet but as the idle comes down there she's still a little cold but um, anyway runs good and that's kind of the basis of 
how you do the plug swap. So overall, you're just getting better ignition, better burn, you're gonna get better fuel economy. And for me, this, that's what this vehicle is all about. So um, there you go, plug mod. All right, so just to prove that all this works, what I've done now is I've unplugged the primary ignition coil. Now remember I said the passenger side ignition coil doesn't start sending spark until it reaches about 400 RPM or so. So now without unplugged, we shouldn't be able to start. So we jump in here. As we see here, the vehicle doesn't want to start. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that in, the vehicle will start, and then we will remove that ignition coil uh, plug while it's running, and the vehicle will continue to run because again, now we're firing off of both sets of plugs. So once it starts running, it will run off this uh, pass or uh, the driver's side ignition coil, which previously only fired on the exhaust stroke. So under normal conditions, it would not run the vehicle. So anyway, here we go. So you saw we plugged that coil in. We're hot, truck fires right up. So now we're gonna go around here and unplug our primary ignition coil. Try and do this with one hand since uh, previous owners always already broke off the other tab, makes it pretty easy for me here. So now we see there we're running off of the uh, only the driver's side ignition coil. 